So here we are on the Packard stand, and the first thing we look at is uh, also very familiar to us here in the uh, in Europe and in the UK is a uh, a Kenworth K270e, and this is the and the E stands obviously for electric. Uh, when we look at the vehicle, it's using the Dyna Spicer. You can see the TM4, which is the motor, and also their own batteries as well. If we look at that, it's going to have an um, EV range anything between 100 and 200 miles. That depends on the size of the battery, the modular design, the batteries. So again, you could suit the batteries to the application, to the distribution application that you've got. Uh, it's got a, it's, it's a DC and AC charging. Let's have a look as we go along there. You can see the battery pack there. And then you can see the motor on there, TM4 motor, which is Dyna Spicer, which are Canadian based. And then you've got the AMS there, based on 700 volts uh, on the system. And top speed of this vehicle, 65 mile an hour. Again, for distribution, that isn't a problem. Obviously, depending on, obviously for ourselves, we're limited to six miles an hour uh, on the vehicle and up to 380 brake horsepower. Pretty clean chassis wise. Same as done at Leyland Trucks, uh, using the same LS chassis and then also the same cab as well. So again, you can see the Dana Spicer. If we look on along, pretty neat installation. Gradient wise, torque wide, enough to start at 20 degrees um, in terms of gradient. Direct drive motor, obviously inverter as well. Uh, so 380 brake horsepower. And looking at that, this is a vehicle still under test at the moment, but I think we'll be seeing a lot more of these sort of vehicles in the distribution, whether in an LF, and also maybe we look at it in the CF as well. But that's a quick look round. We look at here at CES in Las Vegas 2020 and we can see the way that trucks are moving into the world of electric.